First, you could take off the cap and stick a screwdriver in there and pull the cord. If you get a nice little zap, then you at least know you're getting spark to the spark plug. But that doesn't verify whether your spark plug's actually sparking or not. So the way to do that is you're actually going to take that spark plug out, put it back in the cap, and then pull the cord. The next thing to check is the carburetor. This is by far the most common problem with small engines, is the fuel is not being able to get into the engine. A really simple way to check that is to take off the cover, and you're just going to do a quick shot of either carburetor cleaner, starter fluid, it doesn't matter. You're just going to do a quick shot in there. And if the engine starts and runs for a couple seconds, then dies, then you know that the engine's going to run, it's just not getting the fuel needed. So if it starts right up, then dies, then it's confirmed that the engine runs and that it's just not getting the fuel needed. Thus, the most common problem, it's because the carburetor's been gummed up, it's been sitting too long, the fuel and ethanol have separated, and thus, claws, and thus clogging the jets, not getting the fuel up into the engine. So, next step, let's clean out the carburetor. So once you get your carburetor off, it's really easy to clean them. This is the carburetor that's on that Honda engine. The problem is, uh, the video I shot cleaning that did not turn out. So uh, once you start uh, picking up a bunch of small engines, you're going to have quite the collection of carburetors. Here's just a couple little examples. The great thing about carburetors is once you figure one once you take one apart, they're all pretty much the exact same. The first thing I always do to clean the carburetor is drain the bowl. This guy is full of gasoline. So you can do that by, you can do that when it's still installed if you, if you have one with a little screw like this. If it just has a plug, you can as well just take that off. Just do that before you put it on your work workbench because as soon as you take this bowl off, gas is going to go everywhere. So this guy is off of another Honda engine. So the main components in here is you've got your bowl, you've got your float, and what this guy does is it will drop. So as it, the bowl gets full, it pushes up and if you can see, maybe not, might as well just take it off. If you can see down there, you got a little needle and that cuts the flow of gasoline off. So then you just don't have gas continually flowing down in through your carburetor. One very common problem for carburetors is you fill it up with gas and it just starts leaking and it doesn't shut off and it just keeps leaking out. That is because you either have an issue with the float 
having a leak and it's not moving up and down or you have a problem with your seat your with your needle or the needle seat down in there there's a little tiny gasket a needle seat that that guy closes off so it's going to be one of those couple things it could also be this gasket so what you need to look for is if it's leaking out around this seal then you know it's that gasket if it's coming up through and leaking out of here then you know it's then you know it's a problem with that that seat or the needle so there's a couple little ports and passages so this guy where the needle seat is that's where the gas comes in then you got this port and that's where the gas once in the bowl goes up through here and pulled into the body then the air coming in mixes with your gas and goes on into your cylinder so another very common problem is there's a bunch of gunk collected up mostly ethanol separated because your engine's been sitting over the winter and it will collect and it will gum up these little tiny ports and passages you'll you'll always want to take this little guy out and clean out the little ports but 99 percent of the problem with carburetors is these little jets and passages are clogged up and so once you take off the bowl if it's been sitting for a long time there'll be a lot there'll be a lot of gunk down here in the bottom that's a key indicator that one of these ports is full very easy to clean out all you need to do is shoot some carburetor cleaner through these um, if you got an air compressor if you got an air compressor just shoot shoot air through it make sure you hold on to it tight you do not want it to fly across your garage uh, because then you're pretty much going and buying a new one so from this point I usually don't take it I usually don't take anything else apart what I will do is I will spray it really good with carburetor cleaner and make sure that everything's cleaned up then what I'll do is sometimes I'll put a little carburetor cleaner in there and just let it sit and flow through and then I'll grab my air compressor and uh, shoot air through all of the ports and passages and that's really it really simple I mean like I said 99% of your problems with carburetors not starting is ethanol being separated and they're gumming up these little jets and passages so this little guy simply just goes back in here and you screw him back in then your then your float then your float just make sure the needles goes back in there you're gonna have the little pivot pin make sure it pivots really good before you put the bowl back on you can also inspect the gasket make sure there's no cuts or that it's not pinched anywhere sometimes these will have little gaskets on them this guy does if so inspect that simply don't need too much torque on that and that is one cleaned carburetor not really it's still pretty dirty on the outside but like I said that's exactly what I did to this guy and lost the footage and I am 99% sure that when I go put this guy back on it's gonna start right up within one
I hope this video helped out at least someone uh, clean out their carburetor and get their engine running again. These Honda engines, they are awesome. And they really don't take very much maintenance. But the key is, if you're going to leave it over winter, either put fuel stabilizer in it or completely...